comes the question use Euclid's division algorithm to find the HCF already we have understood what is lemma and algorithm so in order to find HCF in the first step we don't get answer then we go for second step by using the first step then we go to the second step we try for answer if we don't get the answer we go for third step so there is a step by step process connected with each step so step by step process here with the Euclid's division statement only it is called as algorithm we have seen the statement for algorithm only. so now use Euclid's division algorithm to find the hits here let us do this I don't want you to make you confused directly I want you to take the sixth class where you find HCF of the numbers what do you mean by HCF HCF is the highest common factor the highest number which can divide these both two numbers so first question you want to take is 235 and 225 I want to find answer for this there is a childhood method which we have understood continuation method long division continuous division method to find the HCF the bigger number is directly divided with 135 if the remainder is 0 then 135 is the highest uh, factor which divides 135 as well as 225 HCF is 135 so let us try 135 times uh, 1 is 135 exactly it is not dividing if we subtract we will get exactly 90 the reminder we got it so when we get a reminder then use this Euclid's division lemma statement and proceed you know according to Euclid's division statement lemma uh, we can write 225 is equal to 1 time 130 sorry we, we what the numbers are given the numbers will be written first 135 times 1 plus 90 so we got a reminder here we cannot find that there is no HCF found still continuation division we will divide this uh, 135 with 90 now this reminder will become the divisor 135 will become the divide dividend now times 1 exactly 90 we will be left off with 45 now so again the reminder came you please put this in the statement so now again 135 is equal to 90 times 1 plus 45 so what happens here again the no there is no there is no uh, HCF found now let us divide once again with 2 over 90 and uh, 45 times 2 is exactly 90 and we got the reminder as 0 okay now please put this with the help of Euclid's division lemma statement 45 uh, so 90 here yeah, the middle one will come here 90 is equal to 45 times 2 plus 0 we got the reminder 0 it means the 45 90 and 45 the remark the uh, <coughs> for, uh, what we call it? the factor is 45 so HCF here HCF is equal to 45 what does it mean 45 is a number 45 is a number it is a it is a number it is a common factor for 90 as well as for 135 as well as for 225 so HCF is 45 in this way this is the sixth class method to find the HCF continuation division method but that division only we are using and representing in the form of a Euclid division lemma and getting the answer in this way HCF is 45 let us please try these two answers by yourself come on do it I bring more and more questions for you now take these questions also in order to practice nicely take these questions also okay so take these questions also uh, and find HCF of these numbers with the help of Euclid's division algorithm the questions are here third fourth five and six so sorry if you got okay uh, first question I have done the second and third you are doing 
then for your second and third they are first and second this is third four five and six you are doing at the practice let's proceed to solve those problems which is the application to prove other mathematical statement by using euclid's division lemma statement let's proceed to find those questions now let's proceed to solve those type of questions here he want us to prove some of the questions here the question number two is telling that show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6 cube plus 1 6 cube plus 3 or 6 cube plus 5 where q is some integer okay let us uh, proceed he want us to prove that any positive odd integer is of the form okay uh, let us go to solve this problem now solution for problem number one how it looks let us see review my pen is ready now solution for problem number one whether whenever we are doing the problem of uh, proving the statements by using our euclid division lemma statement you have to write the statements first according to Euclid's division lemma any two positive integers a and b for example then for any for any positive integers a and b there exist there exist q and are such a way we can write a is equal to b q plus r where zero less than r less than b this is the statement uh, when we see the first statement he is telling show that any positive integer of the form 6q plus 1 so if we see here b q we got there 6 q so b should be 6 then if we are deciding then if b is my 6 then uh, euclid's division lemma statement will become any positive integer of can be written as a is equal to 6 q plus 0 or or it will be a 6 q plus 1 or or a is equal to 6 q plus 2 or a is equal to 6 q plus 3 so on how many how many statements you may write completely six statements still five so i erase this i write four also okay then a is equal to 6 q plus Five. any positive integer if you are uh, taking and dividing selecting b means you are dividing with b then reminder you make it a zero or otherwise one two three four or five so these are the mathematical statements for any positive integer let us divide this positive integer some with even number some will be odd number let us the, the first one this can be written as 2 times 3q and plus 0 need not write this 2 times 3q tells me that this is okay implies it is a even number with number even number why it is even number because because 2 times something tells me that it is a, a multiple of 2 multiple of 2 is an even number it means 2 is a factor of that number it means a 2 is a factor it is a even number okay then again 6 q i can write 2 times 3 q plus 1 it means even plus 1 implies it is a and it is an odd number okay so we got it this is odd number similarly if we take two common from here we will be left out 3q plus 1 complete bracket and outside 2 tells me that it is a even number 
it is an even number an even number okay when we see here uh, we cannot take anything common here but i want this to be written like this 6q plus 2 plus 1 mm -hmm. and i want to take here 2 common then i will be left out with this complete bracket plus 1 it means that 2 times something plus 1 it is a even plus 1 that is an odd number odd number and if we see here uh, we can take 2 completely common and then here I can write 3q plus 2 and it is 2 times something it is an even number it is an even number and if we see for the this case I can, shall take uh, 4 plus 1 I can take a uh, 2 common here so 2 times 3q plus 2 plus 1 this is completely a even plus 1 implies an odd move so we conclude this is an odd number and we concluded that this is an odd number is, yeah this is an odd number and uh, we got this three odd number from above statements we can tell from about uh, proven statements we proved it statements 6q plus 1 comma 6q plus 3 comma and 6q plus 5 uh, are uh, positive positive odd integers hence proved in this way, we proved our mathematical statement which was given in question by using Euclid's division lemma statement. Well done. Next, we go to problem number 3 which is there. The problem number 3 here tells me that an army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade the two groups are to march in the same number of columns what is the maximum number of columns in which they can march so in order to do this question he indirectly tells me to find hcf of these two numbers 16 the total numbers are there 32 32 members parade should be done what will be left and maximum how many you can take so in order to do that you need to find 616 and 32 hcf so how to find 616 and 32 hcf just we have seen in the question number one above we have done the problems of many kind also just this problem was a word problem but he gave some numbers uh, we concluded that we need to find the hcf of these two numbers we will get the answer so please find the hcf of 616 and 32 here so we need to find uh, so hcf of 616 comma 32 will be the answer you please find it now let's move to the question number four very very interesting question let's move on what he's telling us now he want us to prove a mathematical statement by using our euclid division lemma statement what here in the question number four he tells them he tells me that use euclid's division lemma to show that the square square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 okay let's move on so here comes the question number two the question number two is telling me that uh, use euclid's division lemma statement to show that square of any positive integer is of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 so plenty of questions on this particular format can be made show that any square of the integer is of the form 5m or 5m plus 1 5m plus something something here in the instead of 3 they can be any number but the methodology how to uh, solve this problem will be same so let us go and proceed to understand how to solve this problem let's go now 
uh, if we are considering the solution the first number one statement what we need to find right there according to Euclid division lemma statement according to Euclid's division lemma statement or uh, that is lemma uh, any for any for any two positive integers a and b there exist there exist q and r unique q and r such that we can write A is equal to B Q plus R and 0 less than equal R less than B. So this is the basic Euclid's division lemma statement. And if B is equal to 3, that hint was given in the question itself. If you clearly observe, he want 3m, 3m plus 1. 3 tells me that that is the hint to take B as 3. Let us move forward. If B is 3, 3, then according to Euclid's division lemma statement, what happens? Any positive integer, any positive integer A can be written as a is equal to 3q plus 0 or it can be a is equal to 3q plus 1 or a is equal to 3q plus 2 so these can be the statements and now he don't want any positive integer he want to show that square of any positive integer is of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 so let us uh, square uh, on both sides and find let us take case 1 case 1 is my this case a is equal to 3q let squaring on both sides because in the question itself he gave me hint that we have to we have to square so square a square is equal to 3q whole square a square is equal to 3 square is 9 q square I can write 3 common and 3 inside like this in order to make that 3 times something we are having that is 3 m form we will write here and where m is my 3 q is equal to 3 q square any integer so 3m form we got now let us proceed to case 2 my case 2 was telling that a is equal to 3q plus 1 so let us square on both side squaring on both side what happens then a square is equal to 3q plus 1 whole square a plus b whole square what does the a plus b a square plus 2ab plus b square so let us go to a square plus 2 a b uh, okay plus b square what happens now when we do this a square just we have seen a square plus 2 a b 6 q plus 1 from these two terms we can take 3 common then we took 3 common we got in this way we can take q also common but we want just 3 m form like that we don't take that q common that is 3 m plus 1 form now how where uh, where in this case i want here m is equal to 3 q square plus 2 q this uh, some integer okay some three times some integer plus one form okay now the crucial step comes 
case 3 also have to be converted either 3q or 3q plus 1 3m or 3m plus 1 that is the question case now let us see to case 3 uh, above was a is equal to 3q plus 2 well let us do squaring on both sides what is my intention i have to square it and i have to show it is either 3m or 3m plus 1 that is the intention squaring on both sides i got it a square now 3q plus 2 whole square a plus b whole square implies a square plus 2ab plus b square a square plus 2ab plus b square then what does we get now a square 29q square plus 2 times 3 6 times uh, 2 is uh, 2 all q plus 2 square is 4 uh, you split this 4 to 3 plus 1 i can write this 9q square plus 2 lq plus 3 plus 1 yes here i can take here common if i am not able to split this 4 just uh, if i am taking this 3 common i uh, 3m plus 4 and we already know that r cannot be greater than 3 so i have to i have to do that so i to common here then what will be left now i'm taking common 3q square plus 4q plus 1 this 3 became 1 plus 1 3m plus 1 form where m is now 3q square plus 4q plus 1 and uh, some integer yes in this way we have taken over three basic uh, conditions which we got from the nuclear series lemma statement each cases we have squared and pro converted this three to only two forms that are 3m or 3m plus 1 form so now we can uh, conclude that now uh, we conclude that square of any positive integer can be written as as 3m or 3m plus 1 form hence proved in this way another mathematical statement we proved the help of our euclid division lemma statement that is why euclid division lemma statement we're having two applications one is to prove the mathematical statement one is to find hcf let's move on to do the last problem and we take plenty of practice questions okay let's take the problem number five now what he want us to do again we want to prove a mathematical statement what does this statement tells us this statement tells me that use euclid's division lemma to show that cube of any positive integer q o cube of any positive integer is of the form 3 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8 wow he want me to uh, take any positive integer and uh, cube of any positive integer of this format okay let us recall if i take any positive integer i can write in any format by selecting my b as two or three or four or five in this question the hint is uh, he gave nine and nine nine the hint is to take nine what a big problem came here if I take 9 as B, then Euclid's dividend lemma statement, if I write for B's 9, collectively 9 statements I will get. If for the 9 statements, I am cubing on both sides, it will become 4 pages answer. So, I want any positive integer to be written in other form. I'll take that form, cube on both sides, then I want to bring in this format let us take b value 3 and cube any positive integer can be written of any format by you taking these 2 b 3 b 4 and cube 
after cubing i want to make it 9m 9m plus 1 9m plus 8 form let us take that one now let's go so what is what will be the first statement euclid division lemma statement then then we have to write for b is equal to 3 let's proceed okay i have written the euclid division lemma statement uh, uh, for your sake because uh, without writing also i can proceed but i have written for your sake because you were while answering these questions you have to write them uh, in your paper according to euclid's division lemma statement for any two positive integer a and b there exists q and r so that we can write this 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 if for b is equal to three then the statement will become like this we have seen in our our problem also now let us uh, let us take uh, case one and a is my three q what he want us to do uh, i have to take these three cases cube on uh, apply cubing any positive integer will be cubed now that positive integer after cubing it should become either a 9m uh, uh, either it should become 9m plus 1 or either it should become 9m plus 8 let us see now a is equal 3q cubing on both sides cubing on both sides what happens a cube is equal to 3q whole cube okay then when i cube it it will become uh 27 q cube okay let's see what i want to prove so 9m 9m plus 1 okay so i am taking here 9 common so 9 is uh sorry sorry, sorry. Uh, after 9 is taken common 9 times 3 27 q cube 9 m where m is equal to 3 q q only yes in this way uh, some integer what is 3 q q some integer positive integer let us take a case 2 now my case 2 is also the same as a is equal to 3 q plus 1 3 q plus 1 so squaring on sorry cubing on both side cube 3 cube plus 1 whole cube a plus b whole cube a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square that is the case we have learned prerequisite a plus b whole cube formula so again for your sake i'm writing here a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square so let us do that now a cube 3q whole cube plus b cube plus 3a square 3q whole square times b plus 3ab square so when i do this i get 27q cube plus 1 plus 3 square is 9 times 3 is 27 q square plus 1 square is 1 3 times 3 is 9 q okay let's proceed uh, can i take i want to take 9 common from these three uh, terms and i want to keep this one extreme right side so 9 is taken common i am left with 3 cube plus 3 q square plus q plus 1 that is equal to 9 m plus 1 form and where where m is equal to 3 q q plus 3 q square plus q that's all some integer okay there we go to the case 3 now case 3 is telling me that um, a is 3 q plus 2 i have to cube on both sides because i want to prove cube of any positive integer is of the form 9 in something like this so uh, let us proceed a q plus 3 q plus 2 whole q stop here please expand yourself then see my answer pause this video expand 3q plus 2 whole cube by yourself okay pause then see my answer i hope you have done
now see uh, a cube will be b cube will be 3a square will be 3ab square will be expanding this will become 27 cube cube plus 2 cube 8 plus if I square this 3 square 3 square 3 square is 9 9 times 3 is 27 times 2 is 54 cube square plus 2 square is 4 4 times 3 is uh, 12 times 3 is 36 cube I want to again keep this 8 extreme right side and I want to take 9 common with these 3 left out terms. I am taking 9 common now, 3 q q plus, 6 q square plus, 4 q plus, 8 that is 9 m plus 8 form where, where m is equal to 3 q q plus 6 q square plus 4 q some integer hence we can prove that now hence from above results we conclude that we conclude that a uh, cube of any positive integer, cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8 form. So here we go with the uh, problems of proving statement type questions we are having many many plenty of questions on proving uh, let's take a worksheet on this take this worksheet and prove some of the questions please work sheet on proving type questions number one so I'm writing the questions now so take this uh, some of the questions the worksheet uh, on proving type questions proving statement you have to prove this statement number one number two statement and number three all have been brought to you on square because these are very very important questions coming in exams in CBSE and many boards so take them uh, meanwhile we will switch to another class uh, thank you very much to being patiently and doing all the questions thank you very much let's move on to another question another topic